okay two metallic sheet each of 2 mm thickness so we have this thickness is 2 mm as well as this thickness is also 2 mm in a lab joint configuration by resistance spot welding at a welding current of 10 kilo ampere so i 10000 kilo is 10000 ampere welding time is welding time 10 millisecond 10 millisecond is 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 seconds a spherical fusion zone so this one is spherical fusion zone a spherical fusion zone extending up to full thickness that is why i have shown you full thickness so he has considered indentation or not he has not considered this one so as far as get they will make a simple problem so this time is the radius of this one is same as t or diameter will be equal to 2 times so this will be equal to 2 mm once you know the r we can very well calculate volume but let go further the effective resistance is what 500 micro ohm so we have electrical resistance r now this one is electrical resistance this one is r so we have to make our notation change so let make small r equal to what radius and capital r will continue for electrical resistance so electrical resistance will be equals to 500 micro is 10 to the power minus 6 ohm then the rest parameter are given for calculation of your q that is density is what 700 check unit is it gram per meter cube latent heat we don't want any kilo so this 10 to the power 3 joules per kg cp is already given in joules so no conversion required cp is 800 melting temperature is tm we write mp melting point 1793 if one value is kelvin then other value must be also kelvin that was given to you 293 kelvin find the melting efficiency whatever the whatever the heat is generated we have is i square multiplied by r out multiplied by time out of whatever the heat comes is the sum heat is get lost to the convection so this is multiplied by what efficiency called as melting efficiency is equal to m into cp into melting point minus room temperature plus latent heat this one is actual heat utilized for formation of nugget what is mass mass is density into volume so let's substitute and solve I equals to resistance is 500 time is 10 millisecond efficiency we don't know density is given as 7000 volume is 4 by 3 into pi r r is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 cube of this 4 by 3 pi r cube multiplied by uh, this one is mass so you have to multiply this by cp what is cp 800 melting point 1793 room temperature 293 plus latent heat 300 10 to the power 3 so melting efficiency will come out to be 70.37 percent now sometimes they will not give you full data so this has to be solved according to data this has to be solved according to data given to you don't add any data from your pocket Okay, resistance spot welding of two steel sheet is carried out in a lab joint configuration by using a welding current of 3 kilo ampere. So, right, I equals 3000 ampere. A weld time of 0.2 second. This time, is it directly the volume of nugget is given? So, volume of nugget is directly given 20 into mm cube. The effective resistance is 200 micro ohm. Effective means R4. R4 is same as R200. 10 to the power minus 6. Density. This one is ohm. Rho is 8000. Latent it is given. LH 1400. CP is also given. 1400 into 10 to power 3 because it is kilo. And the specific heat is 500. Melting point is degree Celsius. So ambient must be also degree Celsius. What do you want to calculate? The heat transferred to nugget and heat dissipated to base of nugget. So heat transferred to nugget is same as the actual heat utilized. So that is our Q quantity. So Q equal to mass into CP multiplied by melting point minus room temperature plus latent heat mass is equals to what density into volume density is 8000 volume is 20 but we want meter cube minus 9 cp 500 plus melting point 1520 room temperature 20 latent heat 1400 10 to the power quantity will come in joules so this answer is 344 so what is the ideal heat transfer ideal heat transfer is given by joules law is i square into r into t i square is 3000 square electrical resistance is 200 10 to the power minus 6 and time is 0.2 second so that quantity is 360 this much is utilized for nugget it means that remaining heat is it dissipated to base metal assuming no losses due to radiation and convection so heat dissipated to base metal is q ideal minus q actually utilized 360 
minus 344 16 joules if they ask you efficiency is it 344 divided by 360 that is the melting efficiency so melting efficiency is 344 divided by 365.5 percent hot welding of 2 1 mm thick sheet plate so we have thickness of plate 1 mm density is 8000 is carried out successfully by passing a current of amount by certain amount of current we want to find out that current i think for 0.1 second so time equals to 0.1 second the resultant weld nugget form is 5 mm in diameter and 1.5 mm thick cylinder the nugget is forming the cylindrical shape so they will just give a twist on what nugget formation so this one is nugget diameter of nugget is 5 mm it is 1.5 mm so this thickness is actually 2 mm so if i want to show the plate plate will be like this so indentation how much is this one this one is 2 mm because of 2 plate and this one is what 1.5 so without twisting anything on this side he has given you he has given you the direct this dimension of cylinder we are able to calculate value of vr the volume of nugget will be what pi by 4 d square and l now he has reduced the data for calculation purpose only okay just to make your calculation simple only latent it is given so latent it is that is 1400 10 to the power 3 and the effective resistance is given r is equal to 200 i think this one is micro -ohm, always micro -ohm. what is missing in this problem is melting point and the room temperature so actually objective is that objective is just to solve the problem quickly so what you want current you want to pass find out if it is not given we'll assume 100 percent so we have energy balance that is i square multiplied by r multiplied by t multiplied by mechanical efficiency equal to mass tm and tp is not given so forget about that one is it simple latent it so how you are given the data according to the right hand side you have to adjust i square we don't know resistance is given as 200 into 10 to the power minus 6 time is very small is 0.1 second efficiency of melting is 1 density mass is density multiplied volume is 8000 volume is pi by 4 d square is center diameter is 5 square height is 1.5 this conversion you have to make is 10 to the power minus 9 to make into meters latent heat we have 1400 10 to the power 3 all this you will get i your approximate answer is 4060 so 4060 means choice C is correct. We will go for next. Resistance spot welding is performed on the two plate of 1.5 mm thickness with 6 mm diameter electrode using 1500 current for a duration of 0.25. Electrical uh, interface resistance is given to this much. You want to find out heat generated to form the weld. Is watt per second is same as joule per second is same as what? Second. It means that we want our answer as i square into r multiplied by time i is given as 15000 electrical resistance is given as 0 0.0001 and time he has given us 0 0.25 whatever this answer comes is joules and joule is same as watt per second 5625 choice a is correct two pipes of inner diameter of 100 and outer diameter of what 110 so let me have two pipes so this two pipe has inner diameter equals to what so this one is d1 and this one is d2 d1 is 100 and d2 is 110 each joined by flash butt welding butt welding is this side so for butt welding you have to move this part to this side so this one is gate join now so welding is to be performed at this point so this one is our di and this one is our do what he says that at the interface so this one is interface cross section this one is interface cross section 1 mm thick material melts from each pipe which has a resistance of what 14.2 so i have to show it like this so one pipe 1 mm is this and is a hollow portion and on other side also 1 mm can you imagine this so are you getting a ring here of thickness t of this thickness t and this area is it correct so is it a basically cylinder and i have got one more ring so if i draw that your idea will not be clear but if i draw it on other side is it correct now so this is 1 mm and this one is 1 mm is this volume is is it pi by 4 is it d2 square minus d1 square divided by 1 mm here and 1 mm here so is it t plus t in this video is this is go like this this part has been gone like this so this is the building he says that the resistance is what 
42.47 R equals to electrical resistance is 42.4 ohm. If the unit melt energy, we are already familiar with this. This one is what? Um. Amount of energy required to melt 1 meter cube of this volume is 64.4 mega joules. Mega is 10 to the power 6 joule meter cube. We have mm cube and this one is meter cube. So, you have to later on convert this. He says that then the time required for welding is. You want to find out time required. This time V is given and this time R is given. So, actually what is the formula for us? Is it I square R? I square R. So, can we replace I into R? Or I can replace I is equal to V by R. So, this will be equals to what? V by R pair of this multiplied by R. So, I can get my new formula is V square R by R. So, I square R is same as V square by R. So, we have Q equals to so, I square RT, I write V square R multiplied by time and MCP will write what? Is it V multiplied by unit melting energy? Left hand side is joules, so right hand side is also joules. MMQ has to be cancelled. So, V square, how much is V? Now, don't get confused with this V and this V. This one is old. Okay, we'll make it bar. Forget it. We'll make it bar. We'll make it bar. This one is V bar. This one is V bar. V bar stands for volume. Capital V stands for hold. How much resistance? 42.4. What is volume? 3.298. 10 to the power 3 and further multiplied by minus 9. And unit melting energy is 64.4. 10 to the power 6. What is required is only time. We can calculate. Let's say 10 seconds. Two steel bars each of diameter 10 mm are coaxially friction welded end to end at an axial pressure of 200 mega pass and a rotational speed of 4000 rpm. Coefficient of friction between the mating part is what? 0.5. Mu is 0.5. The torque is assumed to act at 3 fourth of radius. We want to find out power at the interface for welding. Is this power required is basically the frictional power. Frictional power is given by friction force into radius r. Are you interested in r or he says that friction multiplied by this value 3 by 4 is is it torque. You have to take r or he says that effective radius is 3 by 4. Effective radius is 3 by 4. Is it torque now? Torque multiplied by 2 pi n by 60. We have the disc like this. So, we have one bar like this. We have second disc like this. So, is a friction is occurring over this surface. For this purpose, are you applying a force here? So, you are applying this force. So, how much is the actual pressure applied? So, is it P multiplied by this area? This area, is it this area? If you view from this one, is it this area? This area is what? Is it pi by 4 multiplied by d square? Agree? If you apply this force, then if from both sides, you apply from this side also, then these two plate will come in contact. Correct? When they come in contact, will the friction will occur in a perpendicular direction. This one is normal. So, this one is friction force. So, is this friction force is mu into n and what is the normal force? So, this is P into A is a normal force. That is the theory. So, first of all, we will calculate normal force. So, normal force is pressure. How much pressure given? Pressure is Pascal. So, 200 mega Pascal is 200 Newton per mm square. Area is pi by 4. Diameter is 10 square of it mm square. mm square, mm square cancel. You will get this value equals to. Okay, 15 point. 7. You write your answer as 10 to the power 3. Never write the answer in kilo because your calculation are not finished. Newton. This is Newton. This one is normal force. So, what is friction force? So, friction force is simply mu into n. Question of friction is given as 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 okay. into 15.7. 10 to the power 3. This one is 7854. Newton. Remember, the unit of this quantity must be equal to what? Newton meter. This quantity is what? Radian per second that is match you have to match the first quantity so power equal to force is 7854 radius r is it 5 mm yeah. so 5 5 is mm mm is 10 to the power minus he says that the effective radius is at 3 by 4 that is why we have multiplied 3 by 4 multiplied by 2 pi rotational speed is 4000 divided by so this much is power whatever the answer come you have to express your answer in kilowatts divide by 1000 take your answer 12.33 so, next time any, cal any question will come, little bit applied. So, applied means what? They want to check you whether you know the knowledge of pressure, knowledge of force, knowledge of friction force, that is all. Every time your force, normal force and friction force, they are always perpendicular.